Mikey Williams is finally able to play basketball again. If you guys didn't know, he was facing up to 20 years in jail for nine felonies and recently got away with just two misdemeanors. So let me show you all this bill right here. It is a floor spacing slasher, and I feel like it pretty much looks like him. Six foot two, I think he's six foot three in real life, but 94 driving dunk, 86 three pointer, and a 92 ball handle with just enough defense to get bronze clamps. And you see, we got 90 acceleration as well. This build gets a lot of good badges like gold blow by high drive posterizer speed booster hall of fame slithery i mean it doesn't stop you know we also got gold precision dunker as well we've been playing a lot of rec lately and park so i wanted to switch up the scenery and today we're going to be in 3v3 pro-am where it's a little bit more challenging every single game of course you're playing a team that is ready and locked in so let's hop into it man drop a like hit that subscribe button if you guys are new and let's get it First, I'd like to tell you about the sponsor of this video, Prize Picks. Prize Picks is where you put your sports IQ to the test and can win up to 25 times the cash you put in. It's actually just this easy. Pick whatever sport you want, then the categories, and there's a special right now for Christmas where Kevin Durant only has to score one point and you win, so you might as well do that. Then let's say we're gonna pick James Harden and that's all you have to do. You only have to get two picks right, and with this special, you basically only have to get one right to win three times the money you put in, and then of course, the more you go up, the more cash you're going to win. And if you click my link in the description to sign up for prize picks today and use code badgeplug, prize picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Yes, double the first deposit. So thank you, prize picks, for sponsoring this video. Into the first gameplay, we're down six to two. And in the next one, we're playing the 30th ranked team in the world. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, we were mostly down because I could not make a shot in the beginning. But it's not how you start, it's how you finish. I run down and posterize the center. Now, you guys know if you play 2K, momentum is 100% in the game. I don't care what Mike Wang, the gameplay director, says. We all know momentum's in the game, but the dunk meter is very forgiving, unlike, as you see me getting the steal right there, the shooting. Now, you see, I'm going down on the fast break. He picks up, but it does not matter. We get back-to-back -back posterizers. So, you could miss three shots in a row, four shots in a row. As long as you activate the dunk meter at the right time, you're still going to have a good chance of being able to successfully dunk the ball. So, this center tries to throw up a 6%, and it doesn't matter again as we posterize in three back-to-back to back plays to get the lead i'm telling you all man if you have not started getting good at the dunk meter you need to okay it is very important especially on builds that have at least silver posterizer in my opinion you see we almost get the stop right there but ali is going to get the foul and then he's going to take a layer right here which i thought was good high low defense but he just got to open before ali could get up there so now it's eight to eight in this game and y'all see man what mikey can do out here it is nasty i'm not gonna lie to you but here we go anyway i'm trying to catch a nice little screen going to the corner he's there pick and pop for ali and we get it to go down we're one play away assist dunk three it does not matter from getting takeover and you see we have silver dimer as well the build is pretty solid i'm telling you man for a build that can dunk as we get an out of bounds push right there it's nice now 86 three-pointer you don't have to do 86 you could do even 76 to be honest i feel like 86 and 76 is pretty the you know pretty similar but i miss a three right there open in the corner to saucy he misses as well and they are running the break he goes down finds a man open for three and he makes the shot now if y'all don't know 3v3 pro -M is actually a higher difficulty than most places i believe it's for sure on hall of fame but i'm wide open and we finally make a shot you see i'm shooting 20 percent from three i'm telling y'all we were down because i could not make a shot but don't worry you're gonna see later in the video man that's not every game you know what i'm saying it's just that it's harder shooting here and it was one of those games where i could not get one to fall and especially in here if you miss one shot i'm telling you the next shot if you're zero for one is much harder to hit but the dunk meter is something that can save you you know what i'm saying so you see i popped finishing takeover even though i could have popped sharp but this build i feel like mikey his best thing is his driving dunk you know so anyway we play good defense on the fast break he picks up on me i'm throwing it back to saucy that's good defense right they play good defense i maybe could have shot that but i go down and oh my gosh even the small dunk meter we time correctly and get a disgusting 
post riser you see gold precision dunker hall of fame slithery gold poster all popping up man i'm telling you bro if you learn how to use the dunk meter you can even force some dunks like in 2k23 now on the fast break off their miss i'm gonna catch and shoot in the corner and we're finally gonna get a rhythm down with the three ball so what i'm trying to tell y'all man is if you're not using the dunk meter to your complete advantage on any type of build that has a decently high dunk you are selling yourself extremely short because those small dunks and post risers you get from holding x or square you know it's nice and all but you can get so much more out of a build by learning the dunk meter this year anyway i'm gonna go down and force another dunk and oh man i wish i could have timed that correctly because that would have been like two really hard ones in a row but look i'm just gonna drive down and force it again with finishing takeover get a bully animation and get that to go in so this next gameplay is versus the ranked 30th team in the world i joined the 11th ranked team to make this video if you guys didn't know after you get 250 wins on a 3v3 pro -M team you get double level for every game and you also get like a thousand vc for every game this is the best place to get vc so the wins actually carry over to the next season as well so if you guys are playing threes with uh you know a team and stuff like that i highly suggest you hop into 3v3 pro -M. of course it's a little bit more competitive but you're gonna get more vc you're gonna get more level i mean it's gonna make you better at the game because you're playing better people on average you know what i'm saying i'm not saying there's obviously always good people in here but hey look we're out here on the mikey build going crazy man drop a like if you guys have made this far and comment down below mikey plug because if you guys didn't know i actually do a mikey video every single year just like the lebron and brawny that i'll have at the end screen of this video so at the end you can just click tap to go watch it it's just a tradition you know what i'm saying and i enjoy making these types of videos because i've been watching mikey for a very long time now this guy tries to shoot a pretty crazy shot seven percent i mean not the worst shot but i go down and get a cradle dunk we have the michael jordan dunk package on as well and if you guys don't know who two tack is he's like one of the best pro-am players in the world he kind of has put to the light like shown people that you can hit you know contested shots and things like that so these guys have their players looking like two tack and uh they're trying to shoot like him but it's not working i mean the shots they took if you go back both the shots weren't that bad but they weren't that good either you know they're definitely a greenable shot on 2k24 still not a shot that we're living you know we are going to want five seconds into the shot clock if they hit it it's something we live with you know it's like oh he hit an eight percent when i was just standing there that's a good shot you know cool we live with that right so that's a good defensive possession is what i'm trying to say so anyway I, you see me cooking up bro i'm going crazy i'm running down and i get blocked yes if you guys didn't know you can green dunks and still get blocked you can time them correctly and they can you know block you out of the dunk meter but they miss wide open i'm gonna pump fake take one or two steps shoot from limitless with a 86 three-pointer we only have bronze limitless range so if you were doubting this build uh as being able to play competitively as we get another stop right here i do a pinch stop but saucy misses it definitely can win at a high competitive level i mean these guys are 30th in the world and you see me doing a backdoor lob right there we got aerial wizard you know 240 and 40 or whatever their record was that's pretty damn good as it is but in 3v3 pro -M, it's even better as you see me stopping and popping and greening that shot because in 3v3 pro -M, like i told you guys every single game you're playing a full squad you can't go in here without a squad so that's 240 and 40 versus higher competition and every single game is a squad you know so they obviously got a nice record but they're missing open that's two wide opens they've missed now but keep in mind as as you guys seen their first two shots were bad shots well, not really bad shots but you know what i'm saying they missed two shots and look at this that is how momentum is on the game i'm telling y'all but i go down find saucy in the corner and it's 15 to 2 i mean besides the two shots that they missed wide open they if they made those other two man it would still be like 15 to 8 13 to 8 something like that we would still be up we're playing really good on these guys and let me know if you want to see more 3v3 pro i'm actually kind of opened my eyes a little bit he gets a nasty fat stop crab three and that was just nasty right there but let me know if you guys want to see more of that i mean seriously just i mean i was having fun you see just oh my gosh ali does a pass fake loses the defender and then confidently shoots that shot i'm telling y'all bro i was actually having a decent amount of fun so i might do more of these in the future if you guys enjoy them but it's up to you it's up to you man you just let me know so anyway we could do park we could do rec i've done everything you guys know i play everywhere on every position every build it does not matter 
they're going to get the rebound and miss again. That's an open, not wide open. So it does lower your green window. And then he's finally going to get a wide open to go in. So you see I'm popping, finishing takeover. And for those of you that made it this far, I want to talk to you guys about something. Look at this real quick. I'm going to pass it to Ollie wide open and it hits his head. It hits his head. I really hope that in 2K25, they add some sort of passing logic into the game that's been in the game for years and it happens so much on this game that's actually one of my biggest gameplay complaints i don't feel like a lot of people can argue about that why would the player not throw it over him or to the side of him why just throw it straight at his head i mean that was not a difficult pass but anyway on the fast break i'm running down and bodying another grown man <laughs> oh you see the flop bro it is disgusting but still i want to talk about finishing takeover real quick as i'm going to go down and this time get a oh my gosh mikey up and under dunk or baseline dunk whatever you want to call it but i don't think that you should pop finishing takeover a lot i think that finishing takeover helps you if you have like a layup build with you know maybe bulldozer things like that but in a lot of situations i think sharp shooting takeover is better because when you do a dunk on this game finishing takeover doesn't give you that much bigger of a meter and usually the only time it does is when you're already in that type of dunk right right there you see that like that's a wide open dunk it's going to give you a bigger meter a noticeably bigger one but it's already a big meter and not that hard of time when they're contested they're still really small so honestly in my opinion i would pop sharp string takeover the reason why i'm popping finishing though is because hey we're up on them i'm trying to make a mikey video i'm trying to dunk on people and damn it is working i'm dunking on people in every single gameplay we actually did not lose a single game up until this point last night you guys might see but you oh my gosh bro hall of fame slithery popping up right there it's disgusting dude it is actually nasty how many more you know, like points you're able to get from learning the dunk meter this year and in 2k23 you it was also very obviously usable because it was better last year than this year but at the same time it makes more sense this year you know what i'm saying it's not perfect it's definitely not perfect yet as i hit him with a nasty behind the back and i should have shot that right there but i got a wide open shot right here and i miss yes we can't make every shot i'm showing you guys the good the bad the ugly but man the dunk meter will give you a lot more than you could expect i should have went up right there again i don't know what was going through my head but i don't like to do a lot of cuts in these more competitive gameplays now what's weird is you seen what we did as i'm wide open going for a nasty dunk right there what we did to the 30th ranked team in the world and honestly usually when people do a meta type of lineup they're not actually that good like i don't know how to explain it besides this year if you want to do the meta pick and roll three hunting guard you're gonna need some skill to be able to do it we destroy people a lot more often that are trying to run the meta or i do versus people that are you know playing with a team and doing cuts and you know things like that so their record might not be as good these guys that we're playing but honestly you're gonna see these guys score more points than the other teams which is weird but also at the same time we're very used to playing the meta lineups you see so it's just you know they made playing meta harder there's a skill gap to playing the meta three hunting you know across the screen hitting on the pick and pop things like that these guys they're not doing anything like that and they're still getting it to to work so six to five right here i think they already have as many points as the other team which is pretty crazy but obviously we need to score we need to get something going i get a great screen wide open and mikey is getting it to go down I, now look in 2k24 bro wide open shots versus open is a big difference so you guys will see as he goes down and gets the layup i try really hard to get wide open shots i don't even like taking shots that i think are going to pop up as open sometimes you know you got to do what you got to do but look at this right here i'm gonna go down go for a dunk meter and that's easy bro all day long I'm telling you man the dunk meter is going to give you so many more points than you could think of bro please go in there and learn it like go into freestyle or go play some play now games against the computer or your friends in black ops something learn the dunk meter please you will thank me later but look at this i knew he was gonna pick up ollie on the pop and we can't get it to go but ollie's open again nope the pop, uh the catch took too long the animation right there but we're back into it i'm kind of going the wrong way but look at this get 
get blocked again on a dunk. I didn't even go for a dunk meter right there. But like I said, bro, we're playing people that weren't ranked as good and their record wasn't as good. But honestly, they were better than the guys we played trying to do meta. So you see me catching and shooting in the corner right there off their miss. I do really like 3v3 Pro M as well because of the shooting being harder. You know, like you actually have to be good to make shots in here. And especially with the freaking how uh how the momentum is, man. Oh my gosh, dude. It is crazy. So we get a dunk right there. We're up 16 to 9. I'm popping finishing takeover. And bro, we did not lose at all then we played these guys we're popping these guys you know we got defensive takeover i got finishing takeover he's got sharp takeover though on the other side so we knew the game wasn't over yet right and we hadn't lost a single game yet he goes down air balls the up and under and you already know what i'm doing oh man bro now look i actually originally made this build as a build on like day three which is crazy if you go look back at this build it's really really good for like a day three build and i haven't showed you guys until today but it was because the game was so choppy and so delayed in the first week or two that i figured hey i might as well get a little bit less three-pointer and also have the ability to finish and get some more points and man i still to this day obviously there's a little bit of changes i would make like i said you don't have to go 86 three-pointer i'd probably go down to 76 now because i feel like 86 and 76 is like the exact same thing but it's almost perfect in my opinion you see i'm going back door making him jump we have finishing takeover okay and you know what i'm saying i'm trying to go crazy i'm cooking up i'm doing what i can but then i start messing up a little bit and hold on watch this play right here i'm gonna steam saucy i mean steam him for game ollie cuts in which causes the corner to drop i steam the corner and that's game so anyway into this last game right here they're gonna go back door right off the inbound which is actually kind of smart i can't lie i've seen a few people doing that last night on a build like mine where we do have silver off ball pest but you know we're not gonna be able to get every single stop in the game on a build that doesn't have that much defense now i do like that we finally have bronze clamps which actually i don't think you guys even seen in any of these gameplays because i upgraded it, i think and on our last game last night like right before i got off but you see now with a 75 perimeter it does have bronze clamps which is helpful and the off ball pest and all that so anyway ali hits a pop right there and it's two to two now this is one thing that's annoying about 3v3 pro am right here i don't know why there is people that don't understand how you should color home and away jerseys because our jerseys are correct theirs are not we should not have similar looking jerseys right now is all i'm trying to say so please if you go into 3v3 pro-am please if you don't watch sports look up what color jerseys your home jerseys need to be and your away jerseys because man it's so annoying like i'll be on a team that has let's say red right and another team has red when we load up when they shouldn't have red but we get another post riser dropping a man to the ground I'm look at this every gameplay you're seeing in 3v3 pro in versus teams versus people that are coming in with a game plan with okay my build can do this at pg your build can play defense at shooting guard like a lockdown we are dunking on people every single freaking game it is disgusting out here man and i only played for like two hours to get these gameplays and i honestly had some other good ones as well but there was a lot of them where it's like i would hit three threes in a game and then maybe like a dunk or two i want to show you more dunking than shooting you know more playing like a dunking you know driving build like mikey than just shooting threes so anyway you guys are understanding what's going on right now but i also did have some games that i just couldn't shoot very good because the difficulty in here is i believe higher than park i think it's higher than wreck it's probably up there with stage but oh oh man i feel like i timed that dunk meter perfect and we could not get that one to go in i'm telling you man sometimes they're just so so small it's insane but i hit ollie on the pop and yeah it's not going good so far it is not going good these guys are getting dunks it was starting to get a little laggy i don't know if you guys can see it in the video i don't know what's going on sometimes on 2k i swear the time of the day you play as you see me shooting that shot right there beautiful beautiful in the little pocket right there risky shot as well but i swear the time of the day you play changes the latency the lag whatever you want to call it the chop like bro you can be playing at 2 p.m some days and it feels terrible and then at 9 p.m it actually feels a lot smoother or it could be the other way around 
I don't know. Maybe it has to do with the amount of players that are on the game at the time. But I don't, it was starting to feel a little weird. But you see, we've made, you know, three shots in a row. We got our heat check going. And look what I do to this guy right here. Misdirection. Back that way into the corner. And with heat check, I'm super confident. You know what I'm saying? If you guys watch my 120 game win streak, which... Yeah, I don't know. If you haven't seen that yet, you definitely need to go check it out after this with the LeBron and Bronny video. Whichever one you want to pick, you know what I'm saying? I got some good content that I've been putting out lately. Regardless of how 2K is doing and how the views look, I'm trying to treat every single video like 2K is doing super good. And I'm trying to make the videos as good as I can for the topic of the video. So just check them out. You know what I'm saying? Give them a chance. But anyway, we're going baseline. And again... Ah, I get a really small dunk meter, but I told you guys, I'm going to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly, right? Like, I can't just, I don't know, for some reason anymore, I just can't feel like showing you, I don't know, although you can see it in the top right and things like that, I feel like a lot of YouTubers, and I'm not calling anyone out, by the way, I'm just saying a lot of YouTubers, like, mislead people, but I'm going back door again, and we're hitting Ali, and we can't get that to go. But I love that play right there. Anyway, I catch and shoot with MIDI with like a 40 MIDI at the moment because it's not upgraded. So what I'm trying to say is like, you know, I'm not going to show every single thing in the game. You know, I'm going to cut some things out just because like in the beginning when it was 6-2 to two on the first gameplay, I just felt like it took forever to get to a good spot. So I told you guys that I just missed a lot of shots and that's why we were there. But I got to show you, you know, misses and things. I don't know. I, we even, Look at this. I make them jump. <sighs> This is what I'm talking about. Like, this is one of the gameplays that I considered not showing because I was shooting a lot of threes. You know what I'm saying? We got three threes, four threes to go down so far. But anyway, I don't mean to yap a lot. We're up 17 to 10. You guys see by now, we didn't lose a single game last night, okay? We didn't lose a single game. We were hooping out there. We had some close games, though. We had some games that went down to, like, one possession and things like that. But... You know, for the most part, switching things up on 2K is how I have fun these days. And I really, I don't hate 2K24. I do not hate 2K24. I don't like crave to get on the game, but I definitely don't hate it. I'm going baseline and yeah, sometimes you get took out of the dunks, man. It happens. So I don't necessarily usually crave to play the game. Sometimes I do, but he's hitting a three right here, making it 17 to 15. But I also don't hate the game. I like it better than 23. I like it better than 22, 21. You know, that's just my opinion. Okay, if your opinion is not the same, that's completely fine. But I don't know. I don't think the game has got that many bad things with it, except for like the cost for VC and the city again. I don't know why we have the city again. But you see, I'm steaming the corner. We're up 15 to 20 right here. It's still a close game. I popped finishing takeover again. That's how you know I'm not taking you serious if I pop finishing takeover, by the way. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I, like I said, I'm going for a dunk. And that's exactly what we're doing to end this game. Get out of here. Guys, if you want to see LeBron and Bronny, click or tap this video. Or the 120 game win streak. I'm going to put them both up on the screen actually for you. So click, tap, whichever one you want to watch that interests you, man. Drop a like, hit that subscribe button. If you're new to your badge plug, you've been plugged in. I'm leaving, bro. So click or tap this. Like, I'm, the video's about to end, bro. And I'm out.